we are staying in room number one so let's go into this room and show you what it has to offer this room is also on the ground floor so it is accessible for people with disabilities upon entering the room you can see that the room is absolutely huge this i presume is what would have been a living room or a dining room if this was a normal house this is in a residential area one thing i did want to say about this room it is absolutely spotless there is no dust no dirt no nothing the cleaners at these properties really make sure that this hotel is clean upon arrival and that is probably why there is an early checkout of 10 a.m they do have several properties this is shirley's guest house four so i can presume from that there is four guest houses but let's show you what this room has to offer starting from the door starting from the door you will see that there is no actual door handles on the doors in this lodge, this guest house, if you'd like to call it that, there is only keypads. There's a keypad to the main door and there's also a keypad to your room, whatever room you're staying in. They will text you your codes around 2 p.m. around check-in time so you can access the property. But starting from the door, you will see that there is a double light switch on the wall. And following round, you'll see there's a large radiator with a chair and a table and a bin underneath for you Americans this is a trash can this could be used as a dressing table or a desk or you could sit here and have your breakfast or your evening meal there is a kitchen which I will show you after I've shown you this room following on there is a wardrobe I'm going to show you what's inside the wardrobe in here there is a fan and there is also some hangers there's also space above the wardrobe if you would like to put your bags and there's also space under there if you wanted to store more luggage if you did take the fan out you could store more luggage in there and there's also a towel following on from the wardrobe there is a large lamp and there is the switch to the lamp so that is great of an evening if you don't want the main lights on now this room will probably get very dark of an evening because there is only dark blackout curtains so the lamp will come in handy and you will want the privacy because that is a main residential street out there there is cars parked on the street so make sure you shut the curtains for your privacy and your security there is a fireplace that has been boxed in but this could be used as an area to charge your phones because there is a small extension lead. There is only one being used by the television and I believe that is a USB port so that will be great. Wayne can have one, I can have the other. This is the router or modem to the television and there is quite a large sized flat screen television. Following on from the TV there is a chest of drawers or drawers depending on what you want to call them there is a remote control on top and we have stayed at one of these guest houses before this tv does have netflix so just make sure once you've used your account to log out there is also another extension lead with four extra plug sockets and these drawers are empty so if you are staying here for more than one night there is plenty of storage for you to store all of your belongings as I said, there is a large bay window just here that leads out onto the street and there's access to all of the windows. But if you didn't want to open the windows, there is a fan in the wardrobe. Pulling back, there is a large bed with lots of lovely amenities like towels, blankets and lots of pillows. On the opposite side of the room, you will find a shelf system with a hairdryer as well. I'll go around and show you that in more detail. We have just put our bags along this wall at the moment because we literally have just checked in. But you can see my handbag is up there. There is some hooks on the wall. There is another ceiling lamp there and another ceiling lamp there. And the hairdryer is on the top shelf by Phil Smith. And there is a total of four shelves and also some space on top. But I'm now going to show you what the rest of this house has to offer. Starting from the door, you will see to the right of the door there is a downstairs bathroom it is just next to the stairs now we are staying in room one which is just here and up the stairs i believe there will be more bedrooms and more bathrooms but for this vlog we are only going to show you the ones that we have access to so this is the downstairs bathroom so let's go in and show you what it has to offer so as you enter the bathroom you will see that there is a toilet there is also some toilet paper that is attached to the wall there is also an extractor fan so make sure you turn that on when you have a shower to save things like mold and dirt building up 
there is also a light i'll just show you how bright that goes really really bright so this will be great for doing my makeup in the morning and also next to the toilet you will find spare toilet paper along with a toilet brush and some cleaning solution there is also a bath mat on the floor i am going to turn the light back on just to give you a better look at the rest of the amenities here in this bathroom on the back of the door there is also a mirror there is a lock to the bathroom there is a towel rail with a towel on it. There is also a sink. I'm not going to open the cupboard because that is private and there's probably cleaning products in there. There is some complimentary hand soap. Here is a small little window. There is some sour gel and some shampoo there. I believe that may be for the other guests staying here, so I'm not going to touch that. It may also have been left here by previous people who have stayed. And there is a nice glass door. And inside the shower, there is a large waterfall shower or rainfall shower. And there is also a detachable hose. So this shower is going to be great for in the morning. Now outside, as you see, there is the staircase and the bedroom. So from the door, you can see it's really accessible. Starting from room one, you will see that next door, there is another room. In this room, you will find clothes areas or clothes horse. This is where the housekeepers hang any extra towels that they have washed the night before. There is also a fireplace. In these cabinets, there is all of the housekeeping facilities and amenities from things to cleaning supplies, bed sheets, linens. So this is not accessible for anyone staying. This is only for the staff who work at this property. There is also a shelving system over there with an iron, and I believe that is the modem or the virgin. There is also a table with some stools underneath, so you could sit here and have your breakfast or your dinner of an evening. Following on, you will find that there is an accessible kitchen. In here, there is plenty of things that you can use to make your stay a lot more homely and a lot more comfortable. So you can see in here, that is the room that I was just in. There is cupboards here along with some washers and dryers. Now these can be used up until 4 p.m. in the evening. So you can access those as long as you bring your own laundry detergent. There is also a island. Now in this island you will find a sink. There is also some sponges and cloths and some washing up liquid. There is also a bin for recycling products a normal waste bin and there is also a fridge so you can store things like milk or any food that you want to consume whilst here at the property there is also a washing machine over here above you will find a kettle and some kitchen roll there is also a cupboard just here inside this cupboard you will find glasses and mugs and plates and things like that Following on from these cupboards, you will find two ovens. There is also some hobs on top and there is also an extractor fan. Following on from there, you will find some toasters, some oven gloves and a microwave. And there's also more cupboards up here. There is the other side of the counter. You have the sink there. There is a total of four stools. So you could sit here and have breakfast as well as sitting over there in the other room. There is also some toilets, some communal toilets just here inside you will find another washing machine and a dryer and there is another downstairs bathroom with a bath mat toilet a sink and some toilet paper a mirror and another electrical shower with some toiletry products and there's also another glass dyed in door so whilst i am in the bathroom i just want to say a quick hello apologies for the windswept hair it is really windy here in southampton there is a storm brewing at the moment we are very lucky that we're going by cruise because there has been a lot of flights cancelled so touch wood our cruise doesn't get cancelled tomorrow I'll be devastated if it was but I did want to say hello thank you so much for coming over and watching this video we are so lucky that we get to stay in the one of the guest houses of Shirley guest houses here in Southampton this is again Shirley guest house number four but we would like to thank Monica for giving us this stay at a media rate and what we mean by that is in order to pay for this room at such a low rate we are providing content so we are providing some Instagram content and also a room tour at a discounted rate so hopefully they will get more
our customers but if you're new please hit that subscribe button we would really appreciate it we would love it if you could give this video a huge thumbs up at the end and also don't forget to hit that notification bell we post on wednesdays fridays and sundays so thank you so much for watching and we will see you in our next video bye do you miss me at all do you think about the things we used to do